Hi, I'm Antonio Longa, and I'm here to present uh, our work on a graph neural network for temporary graph, state of the art, open challenges, and opportunities. This work has been done in collaboration with uh, Veronica Lacchi, Gabriele Santin, Leo Monica Bianchini, Bruno Lepri, Pietro Liò, Franco Scazzelli, and Andrea Passerini. Uh, in this work, Veronica Lacchi and Gabriele Santin uh, and me equally contributed for this article. So in this work, we are trying to um, study um, all the uh, architectures based on message passing that learn representations for a temporal network. So e here, we start introducing what a static graph is. Then we move to the definition of temporal graphs uh, with a special focus on discrete time temporal graphs. Then we talk about representation of temporal graphs that, that can be either snapshot based or event based. And we formally define those uh, notions. Then uh, we do a really basic introduction of graph neural networks uh, that is going to guide us deciding which, uh, which model is going to be present in the taxonomy we are posing. Um, here, there is a small chapter talking about uh, other approaches to learn uh, representation for temporal graphs without, uh, I mean, without being based on uh, message passing. So uh, then we move to learning task on graphs. So first of all, we introduce this concept of a learning setting in which we divide uh, the well-known transductive and inductive for temporal graphs, uh, dividing between future and past predictions. And we formalize all of those settings here below. Then we go through the task. We start by supervised learning task and we formally define temporal network classification, temporal edge classification, and temporal graph classification, in which we add several uh, applications and uh, also in which task has been used. So past is inductive, past transductive, and so on and so forth. Uh, moving forward, we did the same for regression, but since for regression there are a few works, uh, it's just a small paragraph. Um, in terms of link prediction, we divide between link prediction and event time prediction, okay, that are formalized here. And once again, we have examples and uh, real world models, I mean, a real world application and also models that do this. We then move to unsupervised learning task. Once again, clustering, uh, anomaly detection, and we uh, and a low dimensional embedding. So far, we propose a definition of each of those tasks, uh, considering also the uh, learning setting, so inductive, transductive, past, future, and so on and so forth. So here in uh, chapter number six, we are proposing our taxonomy that it's quite simple. It start dividing between uh, snapshot based and event based. And for, all, for each of those category, we have uh, model evolution in which uh, we have only an involved GCN. We have embedding evolution, temporal embedding and temporal neighborhood. If you would like to find details on how we define those uh, categories, uh, you can read the paper. And in fact, we are defining all of them formally below. Moreover, for each task we defined, we are showing which model is doing that. So looking at this table, it's quite easy to see that uh, many works worked on link prediction and none of them work on ad, uh, event prediction or there is no work that has been done using graph neural network for temporal graph clustering, uh, low dimensionally, uh, low dimensionally uh, embedding and so on and so forth. So uh, we think that this table clearly uh, indicates that um, a lot of work can be done in different tasks and uh, settings. 
So uh, here we are explaining the models with the decision that bring us to make, move them in a specific category and uh, to uh, conclude this section we try to compare those category finding uh, most appropriate sections uh, where you have to use one model or another and finally we conclude our work with open challenges uh, on temporal graph neural networks in which we uh, talk about the valuation we are citing open open graph benchmark uh, in reference to uh, standard graph neural networks and um, uh, we are talking also about the expressiveness studies uh, or the learnability of uh, temporal graph neural networks and finally a uh, uh, possibility to work on the real world applications thank you for your attention <laughs>